What's up, Wayne Barron here with Dark Effects Studios, and we are in the process of getting ready to replace the CPU in my Lenovo G770. So the first thing we're going to do is remove our battery, set it aside. Okay, so we got uh, some screws that we got to remove. Our CPU right here, and that's what we want to take out. But we're going to take out all of this. Okay, let's go ahead and remove our fan. It does not seem to want to come out. What reason why we're going to remove the fan is so that we can actually clean it because it is. A little bit dirty. Also, we want to clean up underneath here. Let's go ahead and okay. So all of that's got to be cleaned. So we're going to clean this up right quick, and then we will be right back. We've got this all cleaned up now, so it's nice and clean. We got the fan all clean. So now we've got to do is that we got to remove this, and it's got to be done with a little flathead screwdriver. There it goes. Got to do a half turn, and then lift it out. So what we're looking at is that right here in the corner, right there in that corner, you got a little triangle. So that's how we got to put the new one back in. And this right here is our i7 processor. And so what we got to do here is, and you can see right here, you got that little V at, with that little V sets right there. So it's going to set on to where it's going to set on like that right there. So we got to set this in here and then we put our our thermal paste right here on top. So let's go ahead and turn this back all the way over and there we go. So now that won't go nowhere. Uh, I did not get any thermal paste with this so I went outside and I found a, a, a brand new uh, heat sink out there that just happened to have some thermal paste with it. So if you don't have any, uh, yeah, definitely order some whenever you order your new CPU. Okay, and that should be enough there. So now we got all of that done. So let's go ahead and set everything back in. Set that just like that. Just ease it in. You do not have to uh, manhandle it, as to say. Now let's take our fan, and we're going to set our fan back here. Connect this back up. Okay. All right. This is where you access your memory at. I've got eight gigs of memory sitting inside of here. And this is our hard drive, and this is our Wi-Fi. I've got a one terabyte hard drive in here that I replaced. So let's go ahead and put this back on here. Let's take our battery. Put our battery back in. Then we are done. Inside of our BIOS, for some reason, my F2 key didn't work for a moment, so I had to get into it. But we, as you can see, we got our i7-2720QM 
It's a 2.2 gigahertz with a 3.3 .3 boost to it. And so yeah, let's go ahead and boot this thing up and see what she'll do.